They call me hippity hoppy, cause I don't stop it. Yeah, shoot and I boot your whole body back to the lock. <laughs> what if you came up with a really cool dance move and your entire school caught on? What if it even went viral? Cool, right? But what if Fortnite took it one step further? What if they took your dance move and added it into their game? Then they gave it a different name with different music. But they did it all without telling you. And that's not all. What if they asked players for money to add your dance moves into their locker? And they started making billions of dollars in part thanks to your original moves. Question is, do they have to ask for your permission? Do they have to give you credit? Do they have to give a small percent of money that they're making to you? This is what some artists are asking themselves. Millie Rock is my craft, my everything. You feel what I'm saying? It's my signature move. It is me. Well, I'm going to fight for what's mine. Like I said, I don't get robbed, so I just feel like they robbing me. You know what I'm saying? So I have to do something about it. First arms up, then left and right. Then MJ, get out my sight. When I got wind of it, it was maybe 100 mentions on my Twitter, 100 DMs on my Instagram. Like, hey, I hope you you know something about this because this popular game has your, has your dance in it. So I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what Fortnite is. So let me look into it. I've been looking into it, and I see that in season five, they actually, they actually have the character doing the same. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. I'm like, yo, they didn't reach out. They didn't reach out for, with anything. it was a good idea to talk to a choreographer. Maybe he can figure out what's going on here. Imagine you're an artist and you paint something and it's personal to you and you know somebody else out there paints you know looks at your picture and paints the exact same thing and calls it theirs or changes the name mm -hmm. you know which is what they did. They yeah. pretty much took the move and just changed the name of it. Do you so. know any Fortnite moves that done that same thing that you just said? Um, yeah there's the Millie Rock. Yes. Which they I think they call it the swipe. Uh -huh, right? the swipe and, it. Yeah, the swipe <laughs> it. And then there's the shoot, I think. It's yeah, called it's called shoot. hype in Fortnite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you circle it. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty obvious to see. When you look at Fortnite and you look at the dance moves, it's completely the same, you know? Yeah. It's a complete copy. Have you ever seen it done like this? You could go like slow, quick, quick. Oh yeah, I you saw know? something like that. It's like... Yeah, yeah. Let's try it together. So can you actually copyright dance moves? Yes, you can. It really depends on uh, the sort of length and complexity and creativity of what's going on in the dance. I think in the US that it's, it's not clear cut that um, this number of dance moves or, or building blocks put together is enough to qualify for copyright protection in the U.S. So that could be one of the challenges there. Um, but we may see an, a, a license agreement announced soon. So what are your thoughts? Does Fortnite have an unexpected battle coming up? Do you think artists should just chill since Fortnite is creating a buzz for them and their dance moves? Or should they be upset because Fortnite is cashing in big time and not giving credit where credit is due? Email us your thoughts at cbckidsnews at cbc.ca. For CBC Kids News, I'm Hippity Hop. I'm Elijah Sandyford for CBC Kids News. Peace.